Hi, I am Dr. Jyoti Patil, Senior Fertility Consultant, Obstetrician and Gynecologist. I practice at Birthright by Rainbow Hospital, Marathalli as Chief Fertility Consultant and I am a Clinical Director of Janani Fertility and Gyne Care which is situated in AECS Layout B Block, Marathalli, Bangalore. Today I will be speaking about when should the couple go for IVF. So before that I want to brief you about what is an IVF, what exactly we do in an IVF. See basically IVF is called as in vitro fertilization. In vitro meaning which we are doing it outside the body. Wherein we are going to combine the husband's sperm and the woman's egg. If we imagine as there is one egg and there is one sperm, we are going to put this sperm into the egg and make it fertilize. Once it becomes fertilized, it becomes an embryo. Then we culture or we grow the embryos for three to five days in the lab which is called as an embryology lab and then the embryos will be transferred into the uterus of the woman. So basically who requires this IVF? There are people who have got repeated IUI failures, there's something called as an unexplained infertility. Unexplained infertility meaning all the reports are normal in spite of that the couple is not able to become pregnant. Endometriosis which is nothing but the lining of the uterus what we call as endometrium which is present outside the uterus which is a very painful condition whenever there is periods the patient will have a lot of pain abdomen if the tubes the fallopian tubes are blocked bilateral fallopian tube blockage is the most common indication for IVF and very rarely when uh, there is a zero positive couple meaning if the husband is HIV positive and the wife is HIV negative to prevent the transmission we can use IVF as a mode of fertility treatment. Male factor infertility wherein the sperm count is less then IVF is required. There are certain genetic conditions wherein we need to know whether the child is going to get affected with certain autoimmune diseases wherein we are going to create the embryo, take the cells of the embryo and send it for testing. That is called as PGS pre-implantation genetic screening or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis PGD uh, which is also an indication for doing an IVF. So I'll be telling in detail about how an IVF is done. So basically from the period second or third day, we do a baseline scan to look for the number of follicles in the ovary. Then we start on injections. There will be injections for 10 to 12 days. These injections are basically given to improve the and increase the size of the follicle. Basically when the size of the follicles attain around 18 to 20 millimeter, we plan an egg pickup. Now the egg pickup is done under anesthesia. There won't be a cut or a stitch. What is an egg pickup? We normally put a small needle along with the scanning probe. It's basically an endovaginal probe. And we just prick the follicle. As I said, follicle is a water bubble inside which an egg will be there. So we take the, we suck out the egg. Then it will be observed under microscope to assess for the quality. Once the egg quality is fine, then the husband will give a fresh semen sample on the day of procedure. So we take one sperm, take one egg and put that sperm into the egg what is called as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or we can also put in a pool of sperms can be put along with an egg to allow natural fertilization to happen after 17 to 18 hours we again relook we take the dish under microscope and see like whether it is fertilized or not the fertilized egg is called as an embryo then we culture or grow the embryos for three to five days the fifth day embryo is called as blastocyst which is the best embryo to be transferred and which results in 60 to 70 percent chances of success that is achieving a pregnancy. Some of the things you have to look for before choosing an IVF treatment. The first thing is the IVF clinic, the success rate of the IVF clinic, the clinician, his or her expertise in doing an IVF procedure, how many egg pickups, how many embryo transfers, what is the success rate, the competent, whether there are any competent embryologists around. All this have to be taken care before you start an IVF procedure. Wherein we handhold you from the time of initial consultation, the scanning, the injections, the egg pickup, embryo transfer, everything will be explained in a very detailed way. We also consider IVF treatment individualized, that is personalized care is given at Janani Fertility. Thank you.